Well, they are young, intelligent, uh, uh, between uh, 20 to 30 years. They have been using for indecent objects, pornography, stacking, unauthorized, and they are all uh, uh, young people which have a lot of energies. This energy is misspent. So, uh, um, when uh, you, you have uh, analyzed the NCRB crime record of what are the cases which are reported and also the IPC and you have just take up, uh, just opposed uh, both these together. Yeah, uh, Professor Rao, you yes. have raised a very important question. Yes. You see, under the IT Act, the investigation can be done by an officer of the yes. rank of Deputy Superintendent or ever Temp Temp officer. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But under the IPC, yeah. I O maybe some inspector or yes. inspector whosoever he yes. is. Yes. Secondly, um, IPC provisions yeah. are more police friendly provisions. They yes. they are working in it. They can work in it. Yes. And especially the types of evidence which are needed under we the IT this. Act. Yes. Uh, they need some special training. Exactly. Though so efforts are being made to train them. Yes. Lot of uh, training programs are organized yes. by the state government as well as by the central government. Central government. And the things are changing very fast. I yes. know so many police officers who are uh, very good um, in uh, it. But uh, not, all. not all. Even uh, today, yes. uh, there is a requirement. Yes. But the second thing is, hmm. uh, people don't go to the police yes. for ordinary yeah. cyber. Though technically, yeah. it is an offense. It's an offense. They are not taking it seriously. Yes. If anybody is getting yeah. hate mail yes. on his computer, yeah. he will try to ignore it. In fact, that is an Indian culture. No, we don't generally report it. We take it unless it assumes such a greater significance of causing a lot of harm. Then we will go to exactly, the yes. exactly. Yes. Or it is going to cause harm or loss yeah. in some big way or monetary form. Yes, yes. Then only because uh, right. we know there were so many uh, instances when yes. the viruses crash uh, yes. the computers, motherboard. But the matters were not reported. Not reported. They went unreported. He, he yes. went to the person concerned and got his uh, computer repaired and yes. that's all. Yes. So that can be one of the reasons. Yeah. And slowly, uh, second part is that uh, I think uh, you are doing a wonderful job. You are creating legal awareness, yes. critical awareness among the masses yes. that look, these are your rights. Yes. This is the legal protection. Yes. And in case of any violation of your right, liability may be put on the person who has put you under distress. And that's why you see the mechanism which has been provided under the IT Act. If you just yes. look to that, then it will be very interesting because the IT Act under Section 43, if anybody is uh, making the unauthorized access to the yes. computer yes. and that results into the damage of the system, yes. then uh, he can be asked to pay compensation okay. up to rupees 1 crore. It is not a punishment, it is a penalty. Yes, sir. And I think uh, uh, IT Act is a combination uh, uh. of the tort law as well as the exactly. <laughs> criminal law. Yes. Because uh, they have used the word penalty yes. for contraventions. Yes. So if uh, uh, section 43, 1 crore rupees and yes. similarly in uh, section 44A yes. yeah. uh, for failing to furnish any document returned hmm. on report to the controller of the Certifying authority, yes. uh, uh, the penalty can be uh, up to 50,000 rupees, mm -hmm. 1 lakh and 50,000 rupees. Yes. So, it's a good amount. Similarly, 44B, mm -hmm. for failing to file any return or furnish any information or other document mm -hmm. within the prescribed time, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, 5,000 rupees for every day Sunday. during which the such failure occurred. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 44C yes. for not maintaining the records right. properly yes. and here also mm. uh, 10,000 rupees for every day mm. during which the failure occurred. So I think uh, government, uh, this law is trying yes. to put pressure yes. upon the persons mm. to behave legally. Yes. Section I think, uh, sir, I think that may be a good, uh, instead of uh, looking at a punishment in a prison, penalty and financial imposition. You see, you, see, you, uh, you, uh, uh, you have talked about the recent debate which is going on, yes. uh, that if we can reform a person yes. just by keeping him outside the prison, yes. that will be a wonderful thing. Yes. So such type of panel uh, provisions yes. uh, 
not penal provisions, such yeah. type uh, of the provisions yes. which uh, imposes penalty in monetary form. Yes, sir. So it will force him to behave properly in future. Yes. Because uh, persons who are using computer, using this technology, the they the are mass. educated person, intellect yes. person. And here I would like to tell you, you were mm. mentioning that uh, young persons. Yes. You see the data which has been provided by the NCRB, yes. it reflects yes. that most of the criminals are uh, within the age group of 35 to 45. 35. Uh, persons below 18 years uh, are very less in very number. Less. Okay. So, so uh, this very data right. differs from the data which we are getting from the uh, foreign countries. Foreign country. And I don't know, uh, because uh, we can debate uh, yes. the no, reliability right. or, or yes. of this. Yes. But as uh, per the NCRB mm. statistics, yes. I think uh, the cyber criminals in our country mm. are falling within the category of 35 to 45. That means they are mature, yes. they are educated enough, yes. and they are having means to use this technology, technology. for their own uh, advantage or interest. And if they are not doing anything yes. which is in consonance uh, with the provisions of the IT Act, yes. penalty can be imposed over that. Uh, similarly, in section 45, yes. offenses, uh, you see, hmm. it's a unique provision. Hmm. A uh, set regime has been uh, fixed by the IT Act. Hmm. There are certain do's and don'ts. Yes. If a person is not doing yes. something which is required under the law, yes. then, and if no penalty or punishment has been provided there under the Act, even then he can be punished under Section 45 yeah. for... Uh, not doing what he was required to exactly. do or contravening any provision exactly. for which no specific penalty or uh, punishment has been provided. Yes. Sir. So that, uh, that's the important thing. Yeah. And then uh, so that principle of omission, omission, <laughs> in the criminal law principle yeah, yeah, yeah. has been brought out into this. Yeah. yeah. And then punishment part, yes. offenses. You yes. see, it's a separate chapter. Yes. Section 65 hmm. is a very important section. Yes. It provides imprisonment for three years where a person is tampering with the Computer source document. Source. Source document. That's a major potential. Yeah, I will be discussing it if the yes. time will permit. Yes. Uh, because first I would like to uh, just yes. discuss the offenses which yes. have been provided under the Act. Yes. Section 66 provides hacking yes. with computer mm. system with the intent or knowledge to cause wrongful loss. Mm -hmm. Again, the punishment is up to three years and the fine up to two lakhs rupees may be imposed. Publication of obscene material, section 67, uh, I think uh, under IPC defamation provision also, mm -hmm. but here the punishment up to five years and with fine which may extend to one lakh rupees for yes. first conviction mm -hmm. and it's double punishment for second and subsequent conviction. 68, uh, for failing to comply with the directions of the controller, again the imprisonment for three years, yes. for failing to extend facilities to decrypt information which is against the interest of sovereignty or integrity of India. India. Again, uh, you see, you yes. can't uh, yes. take the uh, advantage yes. of your rights, uh, right to privacy and right to transfer in the language or encrypted language. It is the duty and if a person is not doing it, then imprisonment which may extend up to the seven years. Seven years. Then section 70, again, it's a very important section. Uh, it provides... Uh, uh, anybody who is uh, securing or uh, attempting to secure mm -hmm. access to a protected system. So, uh, anybody who is attempting to um, access to a protected system, mm -hmm. uh, it provides punishment up to 10 years. Ten years. Uh, Section 71, for misrepresentation or suppression of any material fact, punishment up to 2 years. And then Section 72, 